Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena or Devil Serena for Halloween. And in today's video, we're gonna be sewing up a very simple fall pullover. I really like to make these as a substitute to a regular hoodie because even though it's getting cooler outside, I think it's still necessary to be able to maintain the style that I love and feel comfortable in, but also to feel comfortable and weather appropriate. So here is a very, very simple sewing video on how I made my pullover and basically the pattern and the type of style that you could probably find in another brand of pattern or pattern number. Um, I really enjoy this. This is the second time that I'm making this view of the pattern, uh, but the third time that I'm using this pattern in general. So I hope you guys enjoy. I also want to thank you guys so much for all of your kind words on my previous video. It was my first haul and I am so thankful for all the kind things that you guys have said in that video and also I got a lot of inquiries just in general about doing a home tour and I do plan on doing one. I am still working on getting a few tweaks before I do it and I figured that if I can get those things done in time for the year mark since purchasing our home that it'd be the perfect way to celebrate it being a year. So I am planning on doing a home tour. The main, My main focus right now is making final touches on the kitchen to make it grand, um, well my idea of grand. Um, just before the holidays and I plan on doing more like holiday style videos especially after next week's video um, we will be going full Christmas mode because I have so much to get done before December so that way I can truly enjoy that month instead of spending um, that month being really busy and secluded trying to get projects done before Christmas day so let's get into the video so here's the pattern it's simplicity 1464 it's a size 12 bust 30 it's a very loose boxy shape it does have bust starts but that's about it and um, the view one that I'm creating has two patch pockets in the front I think that's really nice and then it also has the rolled collar with like a B insert I I love this I've also made view two these two are my faves I think they're so cute and here is the back it has attached sleeves and two pieces for the yoke and here's all the fabric requirement it's considered an overshirt. i used a very thick cotton flannel for mine both times so yeah that's the video i've done it in plaid because for whatever reason i can only find a heavier quality flannel in plaid as opposed to a solid so as far as I'm concerned these two times are probably the last time I make this outfit unless I can find heavy solids then I'll make it again but yeah let's get into it here I am cutting out the first two pieces it's very simple after this all I have to do is cut out the yoke and the pockets I cut it hamburger style because it's the only way that it's wide enough for the attached sleeve because this pattern is so simple we'll spend some time chatting about upcoming projects instead of just this in an effort to combat the fact that I don't make blouses because I actually hate making them and so therefore I don't make pants or skirts because I have nothing to pair them with, I decided to put a lot more focus on some more casual tops and pieces and I actually think that I'm off to a really good start. This is probably blouse or top number three or four that I've made in the last couple months and for me, that's a record for the entire year. The first time I made this blouse, I also did it in a plaid, and I did put a huge focus on pattern matching every single seam, and I wasted so much fabric doing that. Having the attached sleeves makes matching a little bit more tricky and a lot less economical. In order to reduce cost, I only purchased what the pattern recommended that I purchase for a solid as opposed to a plaid or directional print. So the only focus I put on any kind of pattern placement was on the pockets since they were going to be the most obvious discrepancy and I made sure that the lines lined up but the colors don't exactly match perfectly and that was simply to save fabric. Whenever I was done with this piece, I had hardly any scrap left over so definitely no room for being a perfectionist with regards to the design 
and I just had to place that energy into just a really good construction, which I always prioritize. So I want to talk to you about what I've been up to because this video is a little shorter and less detailed than I usually make because I am working on a more technical project. If you've been on my Instagram lately, then you saw that I ventured into historical sewing and I did record the process and in the midst of making that pattern, I had to save space on my phone for that footage. But I also wanted to share how simple and easy this project is to sew because it is definitely one of my favorite makes for the fall and winter. And I figured if you ever come across a pattern like this, then you'd be inspired to purchase it and make it too. But also I just wanted to introduce some of my casual looks. I feel like my more glammed up outfits are featured way more because they seem to be the most interesting to me. But I don't dress like that every day, even though I do dress like that most days. I do have vintage casual and I do wear vintage casual. And so I just wanted to share some of those pieces with you and how I style them. I didn't film the process, but the week before this, I made some flannel lined cigarette pants with some scrap flannel. And I'm going to pair it with this top today and you'll see that in the reveal. Hello, it is your friendly vintage devil here to close out and conclude this video. I want to thank you guys for your support and if you've made it this far, thank you even more. I wanted to remind you that you can follow me in real time on Instagram at Serena underscore as well as if you'd like to support this channel because I really appreciate any extra help that I can get but of course you're not obligated to please leave me a virtual tip on Kofi. The link is going to be in the description box below. On my Kofi, I give you sneak peeks of upcoming projects and then I also sometimes release these videos um, for early access for any of my supporters. Because it is a virtual tip jar and it's um, not Patreon, you are free to donate whatever your heart desires. I appreciate it all. But regardless if you donate or not, you can still visit my Kofi and see sneak peeks of my um, upcoming projects. Before I go, I do have a question for you guys, so let me know in the comment section below. I do plan on making a series of Christmas DIYs that aren't necessarily exclusively sewing because I do want to make some DIY decorations and just more crafty things because I do craft when I'm not sewing. I'm just a crappy person in general. So I wanted to know if you guys would like to have some of the crafts sprinkled through November um, so that way you actually have time to execute if you decide to follow a tutorial that I make or if you would want them in December thus make, giving you less time to make these things and it just be a form of entertainment. I would love to do Vlogmas but that's not realistic for me because I just can't keep to such a strict daily vlogging schedule but I do want to increase the content that I have for the holidays because I do more through the holidays so I have more opportunities to film the interesting things. So um, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll probably do another poll in the community tab, but um, I'm not sure. Depending on the comments below, then it might just stay in the comments. But if I don't get a lot of engagement, then I will move it over to the community tab and then do a poll as well in my Instagram stories. So just be sure to let me know what it is that you would like to see. So that way, maybe I can start doing two videos a week. Um, because I just love the holidays and I do the most regardless if it's filmed or not So I think it'd be really fun to share these things with you and get feedback on what it is that you guys enjoy making um, And one of my ideas is to make a gingerbread house from scratch And I do mean like making the pattern for the gingerbread house because I'd love a mid-century modern uh, gingerbread house with uh, breeze block and the whole nine yards and I need to let you know that I don't know how to do that in general so it just might be entertaining to watch me fail or it might be glorious in the end who knows but either which way I want to share that with you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one do not forget to like and subscribe bye